In this video, we go over essentially Pokemon. Yeah, this is that's what it's gonna it's be. The, the Nintendo, Nintendo pre press conference it's is Pokemon. just Pokemon. It's Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. What's happening everybody and welcome to Conversations, a show where we record conversations we were going to have anyway and upload it to the internet. You I'm do. one of your hosts, Eddie, along with my bro with the most below, Sheps. How's it going, it's bro? It's going good. Oh boy, we got some Nintendo predictions to talk about today. Yep. Oh boy, yeah. So we're going to be talking about Nintendo's E3 press conference that's going to be happening on... Uh, the 11th of June at 4.30 p.m. Slick. GMT. No That's one's going to know you didn't have no that one's date memorized. Exactly no. right. And we, by the way, are going to be doing live streams for all of the, no, pretty much all of the... For uh, some. For oh, most yeah. of the E3 press conferences. There's going to be a little link in the description if you want to check it out yep. for a nice infographic of all the like, times and everything that we're going to be doing. Head over to our channel and if you're new around here, subscribe so you can join us for that fun. Yes. Our live streams are lit. They That's are very they good. Are. Very good. All right. So today we're going to be talking about Nintendo. Nintendo, yes, aka the Pokemon live stream. That's essentially yeah. what's going to be happening. That's basically what I'm considering it. I'm going to be like, okay, let's watch Pokemon, guys. Right, it's going to be Pokemon, Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be like Pokemon Go away, Pokemon hurry up, let's go. Yes. Pokemon, you know, it's going to be all the different Pokemon. That's Pokemans. it. Pokemon. Po Pokemans. Yeah, they're called Pocket Monsters, isn't they it? They are Pocket Monsters. This could be all the Pocket Monsters. That's yeah, what they're going to be. Yeah, so the biggest thing that people are most looking forward to. I say biggest thing because we're the Pokemon fans. Probably other people are looking forward to Somebody other else probably is like, oh, there's a new Zelda game. Nobody cares. Yeah, man. Link Awakening and whatnot. Yeah, people are saying stuff about it, that. Just let me play my Pokemon. Pokemon Sword and Shield. That's yeah. what everyone's going to be really looking forward to yeah. in this thing. We want to know more information about Absolutely. what the story's supposed to be about, who the protagonists are and things like that. Yep. We got a general overview. We did. Which is cool. Yeah. But we want a little bit more. And I want to know more about that Score Bunny. That Score Bunny Pokemon. I need to see some fire. I need to see an action. I need to see some of that, some fighting moves, just like, uh, 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 you know? And there's also the, um, what was the sad sable? The little sad water oh, Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looked like the most depressed thing ever. That was, yeah, that's definitely good. your kind it didn't of Pokemon. Didn't look good for my water type <laughs> yes, starter exactly. thing. Normally you're the water type guy I'm and you've like, got to go for I, some sable. Know, I'm like, I had Squirtle, I had Totodile. Like, oh no, this is not looking good. Oh, not good, not good. Yeah, but the biggest thing actually, other than Pokemon, you know, Pokemon is going to be like yeah. something else. Well, I didn't, I didn't consider it really, but apparently someone said to me there's other okay. things going on. All right, whatever. Useless people. There's going to be apparently brand new hardware announced at this E3. Okay, that's the rumor at the moment. Is it a handset or a? That's the thing. Other than the fact that there's new hardware in the mix, no one knows anything about okay. them. There's lots of speculations of what it could be. Yeah. It's going to be something Nintendo Switch related. Okay. Is it going to be like just a revision where it's going to be a little bit cheaper? Like a Switch 2 or like a Switch Plus? I think it's going to be more like, you know like when they made the Nintendo 3DS? Yeah. And then they made the 3DS XL. The thing is that, can you get a little bit bigger than the Nintendo Switch right now? I could do with a slightly bigger screen, to be honest, yeah. but my eyes are terrible. That's the main thing for that. But I know a lot of other people might want a bit of a bigger, more bulkier thing. Yeah, However, maybe. the portability is the, the main push That's to... That's a big draw. To, exactly. And Nintendo's kind of the guy... I don't want to call it mobile gaming, because when you say that, people think of their phones. Yeah. But I mean, Nintendo's been the guy for... Portable gaming. Portable gaming, that's the best you know, word for yeah. it. Yeah. I don't know, it'd be interesting to see how, what, what they do. The main thing that people are clutching towards, in order to make it cheaper, in order to make it more accessible to more people, because the idea is they want to go back to Nintendo DS days where... Yeah, you had yeah, about yeah. four in every household. Yeah, it just yeah. happened to be. I don't yeah, know how yeah. the hell people would just keep buying Nintendo DSs. I yeah, guess because yeah. they were like less than 100 bucks. It's like, yeah. there you go, go for it. So easy. They want to get Nintendo Switches multiple in each other's household. Yeah. They've said that on record. The only way to do that is to drop the price. Make you can't it do it. so like... consumer friendly. Exactly. And I think the only way that people, people are saying it's going to happen is if they make it not detachable. So the Joy-Cons are fused together. Okay. And there's no docked mode. So it's just handheld. That's the right, only right. thing you use it for. I don't know if they will do that. It'll be interesting because one of the things I don't know because you've got a switch. Yes. Have you? Do you find whenever you're playing it that you, if you've got to go upstairs, you take it with you, or do you use it like a console? I don't use it for anything other than portable. Okay. So I put it in the dock to charge, and then mm. I just pick it up, and I, I'm always playing it like interesting. that. Interesting. It reminds me of the Game Boy days. Yeah, That's yeah, the essentially yeah, yeah, yeah. why I bought it. Yeah. And I know there are some people that play other games. Like, for example, I only play like Pokemon Let's Go, uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, and uh, Lego DC Marvel Super Heroes. Yeah, which yeah. They can all be played handheld. Yeah. There are some party games which you take off the Joy-Cons and you do stuff like, yeah. you know, wave them around. That could be cool. I haven't played any of those, so 
I've never used it for anything. You got the PSVR, that. so that's the truth. I've got PlayStation VR. I've got my other console for my PlayStation Pro, so I can play console games for that. So for me, it wouldn't matter too much if it wasn't detachable. Yeah. But the big thing about the Switch, I mean, if you remember the reveal, it's all about snapping those Joy Cons and then taking them away. Yeah. And then taking them off when you want to play them yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. Taking it to the roof, cool rooftop garden barbecue, and then say, "Hey, let's all gather around this seven-inch screen and watch." Like, like, watch me catch these Pokemon. Right. <laughs> that's the that's the marketing for the Nintendo Switch. If you take away the snappable Joy Cons and if you take away the dock mode and stuff like that, then it becomes a Nintendo DS that's really big and really yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess maybe they they do that and they go with the, hey, look at this family all enjoying this thing at home yeah. rather than the, look at me, I took this to a rooftop barbecue because that made no sense at all. No, it really Not didn't. Not any... Everyone was literally like, who the fuck is this chick bringing over a games console to a barbecue? It's like, how antisocial have you got to be? By the way, apparently that lady actually worked for the uh, worked on the Nintendo Switch herself. Oh, really? And it was like... Ooh, we just said all these bad things about her. Jesus Christ. Well, like, the oh. Switch is great. Ooh. It's the advert that sucks. Cringe. Yeah, Cringe. So That's bad. what it was. So bad. There was also that one scene as well where the guy was playing it on the um, on the airplane as well. Yeah. He put it on the tray table and he does the... Because the angle is not great. Mm. So And he does this thing where he's in his, his seat like that and he's playing. I'm like, ooh, that looks uncomfortable. Yeah. I couldn't do that for a couple of hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that's uh, that's the rumours on the hardware. Yeah. I don't know if they'll show us anything at this E3. Nintendo are very... They go out there and do their own thing. They don't care about yeah, E3. I mean, they're Nintendo. Yeah. All they have to do is either say... Is say Smash Bros, Link, or like Ash. You know, they have to invoke one of their big three. Yeah. And we're all hype. Yeah. There's rumours of um, a Luigi's Mansion as well. Sorry, Luigi's Mansion 2 has been announced. Sorry, and they're going to probably show more okay, of that. Okay, that'll be cool. Fire Emblem is a, a big game that I'm not into, but I, I know a lot of people. Either, but I know a lot of people love it. Love it to death, and there's everyone sort of like Fire Emblem, a bit like that how I am cool. about Superman. Yeah, where like yeah, yeah. the next Superman games, is this the next Fire Emblem That'd game? That'd be so funny if they start it and it looks like a Superman game, but it turns out to be Fire Emblem. Could you imagine like a fluttering cape and actually it's just a flag with the Fire yeah, Emblem yeah, yeah. on it? It's like sons of bitches. <laughs> Animal Crossing as well. Everyone's been waiting for an Animal Crossing yep. game. I'm not myself, but not a lot me. of people have been. I did play the Pocket Camp version, which was the mobile game right, and whatnot. Right, right, right. It's very basic. I just wanted to try it and stuff like that. But those are the main games that people are thinking about and the hardware specs are the main things that people yep. are talking about as well. How excited are you on a level like 1 to 10 for Nintendo? Ah, see, this is the thing. For Nintendo in in general yeah. probably a solid like seven to eight at any given time especially knowing that we have a pc on the way oh yes suspecting Pokemon cinematic suspecting universe suspecting we have a pc on Wait, the way we we, we came I up know. with it we've implanted the idea yeah. in their head this is happening yeah because i obviously um th they were watching so. all of them are watching oh, if, if it was reggie it's that bowser guy right, now that's yeah. watching yeah that's the, what the, it is. the thing is like i don't like i'm i know it's a bit of a heresy but i'm not the biggest zelda fan in the world mm -hmm. i don't really care you know, much more Pokemon guy. I didn't care about Zelda until they're I great. played Breath of the Wild. They're great. Breath of the Wild was yeah, great. They're great. I just, I'm, you know, whatever. They're great. They're great games. I just, I want to play Pokemon. Yeah. So, it will be interesting. Because I do care. If they come out and they're like, here's this amazing new hardware. And it's like, basically a DS. Yeah. Exciting times. Like, I want Very that. Exciting. And if they can get that so, price point down to a really attractive level. I mean, you haven't got your Switch yet. You're going to be buying one for Pokemon. Yeah. You, if they can come up with a cheaper one and it doesn't take away exactly. anything that you wanted in it, exactly. it's like, bless. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm and that's one of the reasons I haven't, I didn't get the Switch in preparation. I'm going to get the Switch, like, well, I'll probably get it with Pokemon, so I get the Pokemon branding. Cause you I, get the box and it's got like a, a score bunny on yeah, there, yeah. so And I'll probably pay a premium for that. It probably would be smart to get it, but I'm not, you know, but in, it was in case that they did like a Switch 2 yeah. or something, right? Yeah. So it'll be interesting. It's not one that we'll miss because, well, there's the chance. We know there's potentially up to two Pokemon games coming out, right? They might do another, like, because we all thought Pokemon Let's Go was going to be like a placeholder. Yeah. That it was supposed to be a placeholder game. It's a, Do you remember it's a real that? Game. I swear to God, I was like, okay, this is oh, not the... Yeah. The day it was announced, the top comments on Reddit were like, this is not the core mainline RPG. No yeah. one get excited for this. Don't be excited. There's another one coming in 2019. Yeah. Don't worry. Game comes out. Fucking fantastic. Yeah, it's brilliant. Fantastic. It's brilliant. Don't understand how that even happened. It's brilliant. I guess it's when it's Pokemon and Nintendo, you just can't go wrong. Yeah, exactly. Wrong. It's hard to break that recipe. Exactly. I am excited for the Nintendo conference just because it will bring back all those childish memories and stuff yeah. like that and make us a kid again. And I think, like, one, if, if it's Fire Emblem, for example, yeah. because we'll be watching it, I'm going to have my attention on it. 
and so many people whose opinions are actually worth listening to love the game mm -hmm. that it might be like oh great so now I have Pokemon and another game to look forward to yeah so I don't know, I'm get, it's going to be interesting it's I'm gonna definitely going to be watching this one do kind of care more about this than the Xbox I only care about Xbox for hardware specs yeah. I don't really care what they because I'll find out about the games when they come out yeah or closer to the date I only care about the hardware but for the Nintendo I actually care about the games as well there is something about Nintendo where it's just pure uh, happy, happiness, yeah. amazement. You're just 100%. like, I really want to see what you've got to say. Yeah. Whereas everything else is just sort of like, oh, God, yeah. Yeah, it's negative conversation. Yeah. Anyway, I'm excited. I hope you are excited, bro, at home. And Let feel free to join us as well when it comes to that Nintendo oh, yeah, we'll conference. Live streaming, it. live streaming all throughout E3, most of the E3 press some conference. Of E3. Some of E3. <laughs> I love how we start from the top. Everything, maybe some. Okay, cool. We're, we're, we're going to be doing, doing at least one. We're going to be doing a lot. Even if Sheps can't make it or if I can't make it, one of us is going to be doing something. Yeah. There's something to enjoy all throughout E3. Yeah, buddy. Come and join us again and subscribe yes. if you're new around here. Um, shall we get moving to our Let's next topic? It. Let's do it.